The 32 Keys is hard to say a book. Uh, it's an experience produced by David Hines Smith uh, about six months ago. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I, I couldn't not make a video to show you. Um, it comes in two parts. As you can see, there's this tuck box full of, of cards. And these are not some kind of oracle or some kind of tarot or anything like this. They are cards for contemplation. Uh, what this is, is an entire system for introducing uh, the... <sighs> Uh, the loftier aspects of the Kabbalah. Uh, David Heim Smith lives in uh, seclusion. He's a, you, you could say he's a hermit, uh, and he writes books on a regular basis based on his mystical experiences, uh, trying to give the reader an idea of in what direction to search uh, to find similar experiences to his own. Now, this particular one uh, is the third in a series of books. Um, uh, the, the series is called The Lightning Flash of Aleph. The book one is still in print. Book two is out of print altogether. Um, but there's nothing on the cover uh, to suggest that it is a book number three. And so that, I think, really um, shouldn't bother anyone who has not got volumes one or two just the way I haven't. I'm, by the way, <laughs> looking at volume one because this really is so lovely. Now, um, my guess is that if you're watching this video, you know already what this is all about. Uh, and you're just wanting to have a look at the quality of the book. Uh, so let me give you a look at that. Now, the book itself is uh, has got this dust cover. Now, the dust cover is very thick. It's uh, French folded. Um, the paper itself is, um, is this waxy paper. So it's the kind that you can sponge down uh, <laughs> uh, without any worries. You know, yes, it's going to pick up fingerprints, but uh, you can just wipe them down with a, um, maybe not a sponge, but, you know, um, a, a cloth uh, and and literally nothing will remain. The book itself is covered in this very nice uh, cloth. Um, the design on the cover is the 32 keys on the front and on the back. Okay, so that's the, the totality of the keys that are contained. But they, those are not the only illustrations that are in the book. Those of you who know David Heim Smith know that he is a consummate designer, uh, uh, artist, uh, drawing images of, yeah, of how he sees the, 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 the spiritual world. Um, and uh, uh, his, his diagrams are just, just lovely, just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, the book is, I wish the book were a little larger. I, uh, I'm not ashamed to admit that I've used a magnifying glass for some of these um, inscriptions. Uh, you can see, compared to my hand, it's it's not it's not the biggest book in the world. Uh, yeah, so there there we go. And then the cards, however, they really are in comparison uh, quite <laughs> quite huge uh, for cards, right? Um, there we go. What else can I show you? Um, there is a sh short introduction. Um, yep, uh, 18 pages or so. Um, talking about how to practice. So the practice takes part in three phases. There's a first exercise that lasts 10 to 20 minutes. A second exercise, same thing, 10 to 20 minutes. And a third exercise, 10 to 20 minutes. The first exercise, you take one card. Uh, and you work with this one card for nine days in a row. Uh, and then uh, after nine days, you'll be using the next card. All right, so first exercise, you take it and you look at it and you observe it and you uh, try to interpret it with your active, um, intelligent mind. Right. Uh, then part two, you uh, close your eyes and you visualize 
the card and uh, you continue uh, you do that, um, he calls it in non-conceptual silence. And then the third exercise is where you just um, make your mind as blank as you, it possibly can be and see what arises after having just spent 20 to 40 minutes um, contemplating uh, this particular um, aspect. So what he says is that these are not like the tree of life where the tree of life just um, is um, uh, shows one aspect of Kabbalah in each one. No, he says that in here, uh, each card represents the whole, right? Each card, in fact, you, you could look at one card and get the full picture. Um, uh, so, so yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting concept. Um, I'm, I'm fascinated, in fact, by his approach to what the mind is. And that's what this is all about. This whole book is about uh, coming, to coming to terms with what the mind is. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, and it's, um, it, it also happens to be a very, very beautiful thing. Let me show you the spine. It's completely square. Um, uh, and and very rigid and very high quality, very um, very very thick, uh, and you can see that it's hand sewn and very thick quality paper. As you go into the book, uh, there are there are more of these uh, wonderful diagrams, of course, uh, but then you start on the actual thirty two uh, keys themselves, and so um, the recommendation is to read through the entire book. First of all, uh, the description of each key. And then once you've read uh, what each key is supposed to be representing, then you can actually start with the first card doing the first exercise. Um, and, uh, and all of this, of course, will, will come up naturally, um, but then you'll probably want to reread what's actually written here later on as you approach each individual card. It's fascinating stuff, absolutely gorgeous, very, very beautifully produced. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I strongly recommend it. I know that uh, if you are in the United States, you can buy uh, the, the set uh, directly from David Heimsmith's website. You can also get it directly from uh, Anathema Publishing. And if you're in Europe uh, and don't fancy paying between 40 and $70 in, uh, in shipping, uh, then you can get it from Cyclic Law, uh, who are also the distributor for uh, Anathema Publishing. Uh, I, my understanding is that there was a time when uh, Anathema Publishing were in conversations with David Heimsmith to, um, to publish this, but um, uh, in the end they decided that uh, it, it would be best for him to continue publishing it the way he had been earlier, possibly so that the books would, uh, would continue um, uh, having the same look and feel as, as the previous entries. But, um, uh, but yeah, wow, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous book. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope that that's been a, a useful introduction to some of you. And uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I, uh, uh, let me show you the tuck box very quickly. The tuck box is great because it, it opens very, very easily. It's, uh, you know, so many tuck boxes have got slits on the side there to keep it closed. And then you have to, you have to in fact, destroy it a little in order to open. Uh, no, this just, uh, just works really, really nicely and um, uh, opens and closes like a charm and closes completely, as you can see, without, um, without any trouble. This is what it looks like from the from the uh, the side. Um, if actually there, there is a little um, uh, a little mm, a down point that I would say is that on the shelf, this is what they look like, and that's fine if you're not organising your books by height like I try to. Right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I I have to keep these uh, elsewhere. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm keeping the cards in, um, in a separate area altogether. Um, but uh, yeah, what's one to do, right? <laughs> what's, what would have been the alternative? Maybe some kind of um, um, uh, clamshell 
uh, packaging or something like that. I've I've no idea how 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 else they could have done it, but uh, but as it is, it's it's quite lovely. There we go. Uh, take care and see you soon with another video very shortly. Bye bye.